Hello guys, welcome to Outspoken, the series where I interview a different rider on each race. This is my best, <laughs> <laughs> my best mate, Loris Verger. First and second, <laughs> first and second last weekend, so it was really good and good timing. Loris, I'm so happy to see you. See? Sorry to interview you. I know we don't like that so much, but um, how do you feel after Andorra? Um, feeling good actually. Like uh, I had some problem in the off uh, part of the season, like right before Andorra. So I was like not even sure to ride, kind of. What problem? Uh, I had a wrist, uh, little wrist injury, and uh, it was painful for a week. And then like people were talking about it and were like, "Oh yeah, the surgeon told me it was kind of bad." So I had to check it up, and uh, finally it wasn't that bad. So stopped. And yeah, of course, like it was really good results and the track was really wild and I guess it was good to feeling good on that track because, sorry, I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> yeah, I felt like it was one of the, like normally we go to Val and you're like, oh yeah, that's Val -Dissau. But we were not really expecting Andorra to be this bad this mm. year and it was pretty fucking bad. So To me, it was the worst dry, loose, rough condition ever. It was, everywhere it was just, and especially because it, it was either really soft or there was just one line like tiny where everyone is going and yeah. it was, yeah. Loose. How did you, I have a question because I had a good top on you and you had a really good bottom. So how did you kill me on the bottom section like that? Um, it's just for, for me. Marley. Yeah, I guess I, yeah. <laughs> I talked with, uh, so you used to be our coach. Yeah. with uh, Solier and he was like yeah I, I guess when you start like full gas in Andorra you just cut halfway down and you can lose time on the bottom but that's what I did last year pretty much I was like really good top and losing time on the bottom a bit and I guess it's what happened this year was just like uh, can I walk my like endurance strength downhill strength yeah. for some reason like way more than usual and I feel like uh, I was tired, but maybe not as much as everyone. And also because I was slow up top. So <laughs> I must have just like cruised down the top and just like. <laughs> and also, uh, I was sitting down like, yeah. Sitting down where? Whenever I could up top, I was just like, <laughs> yeah, take yeah. breath. And but was that the strategy? It was just like, yeah, save some energy for sure. Because I was, yeah, already tired. So. so the Lapierre days, specialized days, we were together until late, pretty much. And then you, let's say you were following my steps and, and then you went your way. What did you, why did you change? Why did you leave me? Uh, it's, I think it's easy. Like everyone would do the same just cause like, it's like. To leave me? No. <laughs> so good. <laughs> we like you. But like, uh, like you say, it's like you follow someone and uh, you're just in the shadow. It's just like you're drafting. It's like, yeah, I want to do my thing. Like once you like following in MotoGP and you can make a pass or just be on the side. Why not showing? So you want them to pass me? <laughs> no, but it's like you want. Yeah, obviously. But you just want to be yourself. Like you want to because yeah. we were sharing everything. We were like same team, same clothing, same. I was like, you were the fast guy, so you were asking for the thing, and I was just following. So it was really easy, and I thought at that point, it was like, okay, you're, I don't know, what years old, maybe 20. It's like, it might be an opportunity. So I was just like, not close to any, like, uh, I was not close to stay or leave. I was just like, okay, whatever, we'll see. And then uh, I talked with Lauren about it, and... I think he didn't expect me to be real about it and just like... To be serious about serious, it. Serious, yeah. And the contract was just like another thing that made me like, oh, I might actually want to leave because I have a good opportunity in my dream team. So why not going now? I felt it was the moment because otherwise you'd never leave. It's like, you, it was so good. Like, why, why leave also? Yeah. So. so now that you, you were on the edge of... Staying with your family team, little team, or living to your dream team, yeah, like you said, pretty weird idea. <laughs> but American, new people, you didn't know anyone so well, personally, except Mina, you knew who he was, obviously, mm -hmm. but 
how did you manage the transition and how did you make the step because it's pretty hard to take a decision like this uh basically it was just like okay everything is easy for you right now it's just like speak french you just don't do anything you just go on your bike and you don't have any choice to do it's just like whatever and you are a, a, not the fast frenchie in the team so i felt like it was the good a good chance to just be a frenchie in a american brand just like being someone else like me and uh, it's been weird I, i had no idea like how the team would be in speaking english and just like even like losing kevin was tough i was like i don't want to live without kevin and i actually lost him i was like Wah! it's gonna be know. tough like fuck that but anyway so the switch was hard but i felt like there was some um, moment like decision especially about like the contract thing was pretty because he didn't expect me to leave like actually leave so the email about like the next contract was like there is no chance you can't like uh, actually get a better offer and i was like no problem i'm out and that was like the thing i don't know if i can say that but it was actually true it's like one of the reason yeah, yeah like, i remember you didn't really have a door open for negotiation exactly. it was like the drop uh, too much yeah. you know yeah, so. yeah exactly but i'm pretty sure like we talked about it with Laura and i feel like it's misunderstanding b- misunderstanding like mm-hmm. both like mistakes like i thought it was like yeah done so see you but it wasn't for him so it was like ah kind of like sad moments but like i know Laurent pretty well and i think that he this moment his uh, his biggest regret in his career because he doesn't have many mm-hmm. but letting you go on a misunderstanding email is kind of his biggest because of course he built you took you from like cancel yeah. mail blah, 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 and built you as like a contender for the win at mm-hmm. the time and then you just disappear that you yeah, slip out of his hands to uh, his concurrent team like yeah. his main competitor so he was like it was too easy for them to, to grab you you know yeah. and it was really bad I think but did you not feel able like you could become who you are now even if you would have stayed with me in the team I feel like, uh, like so you don't you don't seem so different to me. Exactly. It's tr- it's true like uh, <laughs> same brand like but in a way like uh, I deal my own deals with Fox. I do my own stuff yeah. and it's just like you were doing it in the team because it was the way. I don't know. It was just like at the time I was like yeah, whatever. It's cool. I like it. And maybe if we had like different I don't know actually. I don't know how it would I end up, but I'm pretty sure it would be possible too like it was just that moment I was like okay I need to do my own thing and uh, I feel also like now that I'm in the three elite rider team it's better it's okay. like you feel less pressure because when you do shit there's someone doing good next to you and it's like building up the thing too like on testing and I feel like it it's good for a race team when I like when I see I go step back and I'm like okay I feel like this is a better way to perform also but remember when you left from us to Syndicate mm-hmm. you knew you were going to be in the team with Lucas Shaw mm-hmm. and in the junior years I remember it was pretty tense between you guys because you were super tight yeah. result wise and there were some stories where you had a crash and you you were on the way for him and yeah. some stuff like this and the over was super tight too so It, How was that? Like, were you scared to go in the team with him? Even though it seems pretty chill. Uh, basically, so Greg was telling me about Luca, that he was like a nice kid, whatever. And I knew it was, but you, I didn't know him. So I was like, okay, I, I trust you. And uh, I had to talk to him like before coming in the team. I was like, dude, like the, all the things we had in the past, uh, I'm not. So basically, they, they had that problem in Leo Gang. <laughs> I was uh, qualified I qualified second and he qualified first so he was behind and I crashed don't remember anything and apparently I like <laughs> I was in the way and I followed him down because ah. I crashed and I didn't remember anything so it was the day before uh, doing the back of the wire oh yeah 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 <laughs> so it was yeah like long story short it was just yeah crazy but anyway he always he never thought I would do that on purpose like I'm I feel like I'm not a dickhead. 
Yeah. And he knew like deep down and we talked about it and he, he was like, yeah, yeah, dude, you're fine. But yeah, it was tough years in junior and for sure it was tense, but it was fair racing, I feel. Just because there were no like hard feelings or just, yeah, random uh, saying. So it was just racing. So. Maybe because you won both the overall and the world champs, no? Yeah. For you, it's... N not world champ, just, the f sec just one. Yeah, but the second year. Second year. You yeah, won World Champs. Yeah, it was fun for me. Yeah. <laughs> but like when for him, maybe. it's good, like that's why I feel it's also good in the team is whenever there's like a question about racing, we all want to beat each other, like bad. And we say like it's, it's clear. clear. Yeah. Like Luca was well, maybe you never told me straight in the eyes. Like True. Finn does. We, yeah. Because you know? we are friends and I feel like I'm happy for you when you win. I wish I I won, but you know. But it's it's the same thing now. Like you, yes like and no. It's not because yeah, you didn't you left, but you don't tell it. You still don't tell it to me because yeah, because it's like I feel it's I don't know if it's respect, but it's always been that way kind of. And I feel like yeah, I want to beat you for sure. But like I told you, it's like you work hard for it and you deserve it. And I feel like you should be up there. Like there is no so I'm like proud of you, you know. And I don't. Yeah, but you do the same. And like you work out, you deserve True. it. True, but I'm like, I'm taking my time and I don't feel like, anyway, okay. it's maybe just in between you and me, like I want to beat everyone else for sure. But but for sure it's weird, like the relationship we have. Yeah. And we saved it pretty well because when you left, I remember True. Syndicate, I was mad because I was the only, the last one almost to know you were leaving to Syndicate. Yeah. For me, you were staying and I was yeah. like, yeah. And then one time Blanky was like, ah, Solaris is leaving Syndicate. I was like. Yeah, it was and then, a shame. So, I was like, uh, so it was. I, was I remember that. it was not like we didn't talk so much for a few moments, yeah. and then we we're like, okay, go. Yeah, because we shared absolutely. It was everything. like a breakup. It was like it a, was because I break up with the team and you break up with our trainer. So yeah. it was just like ah, it was crazy, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving forward, <laughs> um, I would not feel good. I would be a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I would like it to be in the same team. Like with Finn, it's already hard to to have a, such a big competitor in the team. So to have two, how do you deal to have Mina, which is a pretty sneaky competitor, yeah, and Luca, which is not sticky, not so sneaky, but <laughs> sticky, yeah, sticky, <laughs> but super good. And you you work together, but against each other too. So isn't it hard to deal with that? Um, so but we basically share pretty much everything and once it's like race time it's just yeah it's race time it's your run so i feel like it's a good way to go faster just because like you want to beat the guy that has the same setup kind of also and it just push forward for some reason it just helps you not focus on like trying to hide what you have and just share everything and go fast yeah you know Yeah. Like, Finn is really, he's like, I want to beat you all the time. So he's like, he's like nah, I don't want to help you. But yes, I see. we don't have that. It's just like we help kind of each other. And then once it's racing, we just like, boom, like have a good run. And if one is beating the other, it's just like fine. And we happy on the, like the team overall kind of. So Yeah, yeah, that's just racing at the end. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like helping each other if you're not like, The way, no, I'm talking shit. But like uh, I feel, the the spirit of the Seneca is like when you struggle hard, we all go down a table and figure out what someone can help or bring to the guy. So I was struggling at like the first year, whatever. Greg was trying to help me. He was just like, oh, your bike seems like blah blah blah. And um, but isn't it normal? Yeah, I guess. Like. Like, if I see Finn struggling, I'm going to tell him what I think. I'm not going to yeah. be like, hey. No, no, true, true. You know, so maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's But... a team. <laughs> How it works. <laughs> cool. But in Andorra, I saw you riding again, like last year, I feel. Different, differently. You were sending it way more things. You were trying gaps. You were riding so fast all weekend. Is it your mid-season turn around thing like you were so fast at the start of the year but you crashed two times 
in finals. Well, you you were on like a podium for sure uh, finish. What are you? Ch did you change something since Andorra? Um, like I I think it's a a mix in between knowing the good setup now because we are working but not super hard during winter. It's just a it's pretty chill. And once we come to World Cup, it's like different level, different speed, and we change. Like at least on the first race, I had like to change some stuff on the bike, even if it's the same bike as last year. But I had to change some stuff, and I feel like I've been puzzling a bit since Fort William, like just trying to figure out what I need, what I want, and I had like I didn't change much in Andorra. I was just like focused on my riding, and I knew the bike. I felt good on the bike. Just uh, yeah, that was it, and. Also, those two weeks of break that I actually didn't ride much downhill, I was just so excited. I was just like, yes, yeah, downhill is cool. So I was just like, yeah, sending some stuff and not afraid of crashing, kind of. But racing But is different. If you, in winter, feel like you don't work so much and then you're paying the price on the first World Cups, why don't you work more in winter? Um... We are working on it. <laughs> yeah, we are working on it because Greg has been around like forever, and he's like, "Winter is my time to just do nothing." Okay. Basically, so he's training hard, but I feel like he's not testing testing at all. Just yeah, he's getting better. He's getting better. But for that, um, the syndicate is pretty chill, and Luca is the same. It's like same setup for years now. You should have stayed with us, man. We test more. <laughs> it, it was. It's different. How do you know? It's like you live for something. You never know what you're gonna have. And I feel like you have some stuff that are better and some stuff that are different. So you just get used to it. So obviously we have Amori, you and me, which are like the kind of uh, the little seed of the French generation. And you have Greg, Luca, and you. You know, like it's three, you're part of three groups, let's say. Okay, okay, yeah. No, you're part of two groups of three. Yeah. And is it, are you shared between that? Like with being a Frenchie or being as part of Syndicate or is it just, like sometimes I feel like you, Amory and me, we're kind of in the same team, even though we have different brands, different everything. And I'm not shared between uh, writing for Specialized or for comments or whatever, but I feel like I'm really close to you And I don't, I don't want to exclude anyone, but you know, sometimes it's hard. The way we are is really tight. It's a weird, it's a weird question. Yes and no, but I, I feel like English people, English speaking people, are the same. Like Luca and Brendan, they are, like stick together and, yeah. and ride together, and I feel like it's kind of the same with like basically your French mate. And I don't know, it's always a weird question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you have. When you were riding with us, you had French staff and stuff. Now it's all American, but mainly the guy on track, which makes, I think, a good difference on having one or not, and depending on who you have. Mm -hmm. You have Petey. How is that? Because he's a legend and he's really good at observing the things, you know? Yeah, I feel like Petey is really like important in the team. It just brings like freshness too. Like, he's been retired for a bit, and he's just, like, so chill, so laid back, just like, oh, yeah, you, you might try, you should try this line, but just chill, you know? Not, like, this is best, this is... So it's... And, um, yeah, it's been good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good to have, like, someone on track, obviously, and, uh, like, you can rely on... Uh, <laughs> uh, I can, yeah. yeah. I can, so basically... So, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> Like in Andorra, after the race, like yeah. you were saying about Frenchie, like uh, I had a little talk with Fabian Barrow, yeah. and he was like, ah, uh, oh, you did good stuff. Like he's always been behind us, and I feel like it's the French and the, uh, uh, how you call it, Côte d'Azur? French Riviera. French Riviera thing. Just like helping a bit, and also like you hear about, so he was on track. Yeah. I heard about stuff that he did and you guys did for some reason. Like everything that you guys do, it's shared in the paddock. Like I knew uh, one line was faster than the other because Fabian did like the time. And then same like uh, another thing. And it was because you guys timed it. So it's just like 
we are racing each other, but in the same time, we still like hurt from everything, from different per different person, Frenchie. But that's friend. not supposed to happen, though. <laughs> it, I, I know. <laughs> like, I, like I'm not saying I don't want to tell you, but then Fabian must have been sneaking out the ear, you know, out there because we have sales on the track. But Fabian did not tell me. Ah. It's just like I heard from different person. Okay. It's just like, yeah, it's weird, but. It helped me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna it make sure me. that nothing happens again. Uh, but yeah, the vibes. The vibe is so. Is it really different from an American team to what you were before? Um, the main people? main difference. I don't want to say Laurent is tight on the budget. I'm not saying that. <laughs> but it's just like Ceci. She's like our mom, and she's like, you want Nutella? You know, whatever. She's just like wants to make us happy and want us to be just, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. She's like, yeah, really protective and she's a mom. But that's the main difference. The After, main difference is getting Nutella <laughs> for free. <laughs> no, yeah, it's, there's not much of a difference. Okay. It's just like a, an American family, I guess, instead of. So this year, there is Amori, Danny Hart, Brosnan. You and me, mainly on the hand for the overall. Like there is other guys for sure, fast they can win, like Mina, Finn, uh, a lot of people. But I feel like these five guys are on the podium each time. Like it's so, but you crashed two times and yeah. you had a little injury. What are you doing <laughs> wrong? Because um, you, I feel like you, you're super smart. You learned from Laurent, from and then now from Mina and everyone. So you have good examples, and you're riding so well. But you have little things that you do, like mistakes I could have done in the past that you should be able to avoid, even though it's hard. Um, I feel like even if you watch people do stuff, it doesn't mean you can do it yourself. It's like you've True. done quality one quality in one racing i never done that and i don't know how you, how you did it's just like it happens and i feel like it's experience instead of just watching and i feel like even if you learn yeah from watching there's no way you can actually experience it yourself anyway uh i felt this year more in the hunt for like winning and last year i was just more into like having a good run instead of just focusing on going maybe faster than I actually can go. So that was my problem this year. It was just like, I felt like a junior when I knew I could win and I knew that I was expecting myself good stuff and you just too hard on yourself and ride like a junior. So that's what I did this year. And um, I did it too in Andorra. Like I had like, a, it felt really bad. Really? Yeah. Cause like basically I crashed where Troy crashed in Andorra, same spot. Okay. Not as bad. I had nothing. So I was stoked. But I bent my, my clit on the left shoe. So I put a new one on. And uh, I tried to make sure it was okay. But I kept like... My foot was, yeah, getting off the pedal. So it was just like trying to be focused and not think of, thinking about it too much. And then at the end, it was just like... When you look at the run, like people saying, oh, you're so smooth, and it felt like the opposite. Okay. So I'm still trying hard to feel good and to have that feeling that last year in Andorra. So that's why I wasn't sure about this race, because I was like, okay, felt like real bad, like you won't be on the podium. Whoa. Yeah. That's how I about felt. I, I didn't say it to many people just because it feels like, Oh, he's lying or whatever. But it felt like that. That's why I was pissed in the area. I was like, oh, that's shit. Yeah. Just because you're loose and you don't... I'm, I wasn't proud of myself. I was just like... Ah, They're yeah. not satisfied. But. Yeah, just like random yeah, kick and stuff. And um, yeah, I'm still learning. So should I maybe go check a, a psychologist or something? <laughs> just, yeah. But I feel it's experience more than... Because you've been there, like... You've tried hard too, you crashed too. I think everyone did. And it's, yeah. It's part of the Besides process. Besides Troy, I don't know how he does it. Yeah, me neither. It's like either it's second or third all the time. Even on a bad day, like Andorra, where he was sore in his mm -hmm. head and his knee, he was third. Yeah. 
It's, this guy is impossible to yeah gap. Like, it's true. And you look at his run, it's sick all the time. Yeah. Looks so good. Win Leger, French race. French winners only this year. Fuck. You think we can do it again? One of us? Uh, yeah. Like, uh, when you think about it, I think Amori was uh, Crankworx too. He's been Crankworx here. Okay. You too. Me too. We like, we, we know the vibe here, kind of. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Like, it's not like a, a, a problem, let's okay. say. And of course, we can. Like, why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're tired. Uh, no, I feel like the crowd's going to be insane. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. always in France, is crazy. The track is pretty cool. And uh, XC again, so. No, for sure, it's going to be a good round. The crowd's going to be nuts. The, tight, the times are going to be tight. And hopefully it's going to be a good weekend with everything and the battle will still be as intense as always. So mm. stay tuned for the weekend. We go racing. Thank you, Lois. Thank you, Bowser. <laughs> <laughs>